What's happening, Matt Squad? It's Joe, aka Matt Joe FC. So we have yet another TV spot for Transformers: The Last Night, called Angry Optimus Prime. Oh my God, I just love Optimus. Isn't one of the coolest voices you've ever heard? Tell me it's not. Tell me it's not. Let's debate about it. But uh, yeah. This one's called Angry Optimus Prime. So let's check this out. Hey, someone get Optimus a chair! These are the legs. Yeah. Now they're behind the... it's, it's kind of a tricky chair. This should be easy. You're just going to want to fold it out? Uh, just unfurl it? Hang on. Let me help you. Wait a minute. You're going to transform the chair. Get it? Uh, Don't step on me. This <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, I'll just stand. I screw the chair. Last night, rated PG-13. Hey, I'm Michael Bay, and I am a strong believer in protecting so the experience. This is my edit room here in my house in Miami. I love cutting here because it's quiet. This whole system pipes wow. to Santa Monica, where I have five editors. Yo, hello, yo, bye. Anyway, those are my editors. <laughs> I can connect to like different rooms. They can see what I do on my, my system here and we can share screens. It's a great way to work. A movie like Transformers needs to be seen using the very finest tools, the best sound technology, best projection technology, and cameras. And I assume a lot of explosions, the only way right? To make it the best experience for you is to shoot it natively. That means two cameras, two eyes that see exactly what you're seeing. We're the first movie to ever shoot IMAX 3D. We place these two gigantic cameras on top of each other to give you amazing resolution. It's just like your eyes. You see depth. Explosions. It's beautiful. And it's something you cannot fake. We're going to spend the extra 10 to $15 million, and we're going to do it right. We're, in fact, the only movie this summer that was shot in native 3D. So an image like this to post-convert is virtually impossible. See those? Did you see how many tumble particles tumbles that got there? Capture each one of those and put them in different space. Whereas when you shoot it natively, it's already doing that for you. The scale of a Transformers movie is meant to be seen on the big screen with great Dolby Atmos sound and brightly lit 3D screens. Michael's always on the cutting edge of technology for the audience to have them have a more visceral experience. His filmmaking is a very three-dimensional style. Transformers has been a giant part of our brand. It helped build IMAX. Michael is the very first filmmaker to take two of these cameras and configure them on a 3D rig and shoot in 3D in real time. And that's not trivial. The resolution, the detail, the clarity, it really is mind-boggling. It was a lot of fun to shoot. I keep saying this is my last one, and I'm going out with a bang. This is a big scale movie. That was very impressive, Mr. Bay. That was the first time I've actually seen Mr. Bay. And he had a pretty nice editing setup. I must say. Yeah. Okay. That was cool. And, um, what did I want to say? There was something I wanted to say, but I wanted to wait till it was over. Well, hopefully it'll come to me. But this will be the first one I get to see on the big screen. Um, like I said, I just watched them all last week. So, you know, I just learned about all this and stuff. And, you know, I watched them on my laptop. So, this will be the first one I get to watch on the big screen. But, I won't be watching in 3D. See, here's my thing about 3D. Is, it's probably just me too. I know it is. But, I like to, when I watch a movie... I don't like to watch it in 3D. I like to watch it just standard. And my reason why is because, you know, when you watch it in 3D, it's things popping out at you, I guess, kind of, you know? And when I watch a movie, I like to watch... See, it's hard to explain. Like, with 3D, things are popping out at you and stuff. 
which standard is not. It's just the movie how it is. That's how I like to watch my movies. I like to watch it how it is with, you know, n no extra stuff with it popping out at me and stuff like that. Maybe if I watch it a second time, but when I go for the first time to see a movie, I just want to um, see it for the standard movie how it is. See, it's hard to explain, like, I hope you understood that. If you didn't, I don't blame you, because it's hard to explain. Like I said, I feel it's just me. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Oh, this is the thing I wanted to say. Um, it was about his explosions, and how everybody says his movies, well, his Transformers movies, at least, have some unnecessary explosions. Uh... When I was watching the movies, it wasn't what I thought it would be, like how people were over, I think people were over exaggerating it, saying like the whole movie's literally filled with explosions, like that's an over exaggeration, but I do feel there were some parts where it's like you look at that and it's like, would that have really like combusted and exploded? You know, I can see where people say it about that, but... What I heard is that people were saying literally like the whole entire movie is just filled with explosions like like every other second. I feel that was an, that's an over exaggeration. But uh yeah, again that could be just me. I don't know. This one is called Torture. For my world to live, yours must die. That is not Optimus. Prime! I can't do this! You are the scoop. <laughs> last night. I don't think I've seen that before. Hold up. <laughs> the last night. You are the scoop. Did you see that? Last night. He just face slammed Optimus. What's this? Authorities have. Got 1031, trying to set that at 75, requesting backup. There's a Lamborghini doing 90. Hang on, he's reducing speed to 40 miles an hour. Roger, 3127, be advised, units are responding. What is this guy doing? Whoa! He flipped it! He flipped it! Flipped it! Oh! That's cool! 3127, report. What are you seeing? I have no idea what we just saw. Me and my crew are rolling out of here. Transformers, rated PG-13, June 21st. It started as legend. I don't One think of the I've greatest seen of all. One of the oldest of all. But every legend has a secret. They have been here forever in the shadows to protect Earth from what was destined to arrive. Whatever that thing is, is huge. A thousand years we've kept it hidden. The secret history of Transformers. Do you 
seek redemption. My maker, I do. I think I have a new most anticipated fight scene. So, I believe the one I was most excited for was, um, I think Optimus and Megatron. It might be Optimus and Bumblebee now. Now seeing, um, Optimus, you know, about to stab Bumblebee, Bumblebee face slamming Optimus, and, um, Kay's gonna be right in the middle of all of it too. Man, I think this movie will have some of the best fight scenes. Um, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed all the fight scenes from the previous ones, especially the first one, um, the final battle between um, Optimus and Megatron. But, uh, and the fourth one, I really enjoyed the fourth final battle. Was that just me? The showdown between Cade and... Um, Optimus and Lockdown. I really did enjoy that. So, yeah. But I'm really excited for Optimus and Bumblebee now. What's your most anticipated fight scene from what we have seen in the trailers? I think that's mine. But, uh, yeah. If you enjoy my reaction, let me know. Oh, yeah, and also, um, I think I mentioned this before, but I think what I'm going to do, excuse me, uh, one day next week before the movie comes out is I'm just going to do a video, um, probably giving my thoughts and stuff on all the Transformers movies so far and what I think of them now that I've just recently, like last week, watched all of them. So, yeah. If you enjoyed my reaction, let me know what you thought. Links to all my social media will be down below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a thumbs up, share it, and tap subscribe. Join the Mad Squad on our journey to 10,000 subscribers. If you like me, it's cool. If you hate me, that's cool. My name's Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Mad out.